time he started his YouTube channel on December 31st, 2022. 2017. It's June 12th, 2022. 12.22 a.m. And doing what? As I pulled up, this is where you pull up. With the bike over there, I saw a whiptail lizard. <laughs> I'm Matt Xavier, and now I'm walking out to the John Dunn Bridge and doing what Dad told me to do. And he told me to do it at 2.22. He said I would arrive there at that time, and he's right. Parking lot, 2.22. Nope, not there. So to see Louie written on that side of the bridge with 2X after just seeing the exact lizard that was cruising around my cabin in Chinati, which yep. is a whiptail lizard, which is the first thing cabin. you see when you type in Parthenogenesis. Watch, I'll show you. Watch. Whiptail lizard. Check it out. Parthenogenesis. Tail whipping. And Watch. Parthenogenesis. First, the whiptail lizard. Okay. The first thing that happens when I show up there, when I pull up, to throw the rocks off is a whiptail lizard that comes up right where my bike is, watch. That comes up right where my bike is, watch. She would let me serve you and serve others. For you. Thank you so much. There's no thank you that's big enough. The only way I could show my gratitude is to, to have stuck this out. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I pray that I see you. I pray that... June 11th, before Clark's video. That was coming up. So this was, be this was actually before you did that skydive. But you still lived. You're still here. But at some point, and that's the day he comes to his final resting place once he is crucified upside down, falling from the sky, looking to me yeah, face to face. And he does a face plant because that's meeting God face to face in the shoulder in the middle of the street. To, to have stuck this out. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I pray that I see you. I pray that whatever happens, just take care of all these people. God have mercy on all of us and God have mercy on the people that have diligently sought you out and diligently sought out the truth. Amen. So anyway, I have high hopes. I'll be up early. Um, sun rises here in New Mexico. Let's see. 55 a.m. Road to Mexico. Before Johnny. A hot air balloon left. trip. After My son that. had a, uh, like a wah wah yeah. thing, case of D or something in the refrigerator. This morning I seen it. It said item number 555. In the refrigerator. This morning I seen it. It said item number 555. So I wanted to give at least two there as uh, just, and that's 4Q, uh, Qumran scroll 4QDA is where this was taken from. So. So. So, when you when you pull these, up, this was taken from. 
So when you when you pull these up together, what's really fascinating. Now, if you were to just channel got shut down before 1260 days from the time Derek Bros is on record hey. the time he started his YouTube channel on December 31st, 2017. So June 14th, last year, Jonathan Clark's main channel got shut down. It's kind of like either he started going into wilderness to get fed or walking with God for 365 days like Enoch and then he was no more. And then after. So this video is before both of these videos. So everything I'm showing you, I'm just showing you what I did in my video I was talking about beforehand. And then Coco Bell taught the signs of the stars. I don't like the way they translate this, though, when they say taught the signs. Now, I realize that Aleph the, also is the first letter of the Hebrew word, in the, or the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hei, Vav, Zion, Tet, Het, etc., etc., right? It also can be translated as taught. But when, when we're looking at the en the Enoch translation here, they put on here, for example, Rekiel taught the signs of the shafts. Okay. Remember what it says in Enoch? Not only did they did they came with God for three hundred sixty five days, like Enoch, and then he was no more. Yes, man, but they sinned against the animals as well. That's how serious God took that when He gave that commandment not to mix these seeds together anymore. And anyway, then I give it a good show far go. I've been practicing a little bit. I don't think I'll be anything like Abraham, but I'll be able to do it. The flow for the wickedness is great. You know, listen, even John, Jesus says, I said, he lift you up your eyes and look on the fields for they are white already to harvest. All right, All we're right, going to get into this Christ. later. This is you. This is Johnny. I love you. Hmm. Okay, guys. Everybody say goodbye to Jonathan Cleck. Sounds like he's leaving us. Uh, tomorrow, possibly. You may get. You may get nudged. Went on a reconnaissance mission first, and now here's the other thing: to have me look up at that cliff and see a sign that says hope. I was like, wait. Okay, let's look at that. Let's watch that again. Here we go. But way up there. Cliff. Where I'm pointing, I'm going to show you something in just a minute. I was driving driving down here and I just. My God. And I just was staring up there. I'm like, why am I staring up there? Hmm. But way up there, where I'm pointing, I'm going to show you something in just a minute. I was driving driving down here, and I just, my God, nudge. And I just was staring up there. I'm like, why am I staring up there? You mean, you mean dr wait a minute, driving by in your motorcycle, you got nudged, falling off the cliff, or... The new instructor came along because the other one, the, the first instructor changed his mind. The second one said, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. come on, Johnny, yeah. I'm, a, I'm an instructor. You can jump to and everything that you want. Sure, Johnny, come on up, buddy. Come on. Tomorrow, so I don't know. I'd watch out for that second uh, pilot. This is all impossible. Tomorrow morning, I'm flying over that in a balloon. I don't know for sure if I'm jumping. I will have my rig on my back. I talked to the pilot. We uh, discussed the possibility of it. No guarantees. But I will guarantees. But I will be blowing a shofar at sunrise tomorrow. So all glory to God. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope it's the end. I hope. Somehow, some way, 
plan now and don't expect to be back till Tuesday, maybe later. I'm chairing the system that we all got caught into. You know how crazy this is? Okay, well, it gets even crazier because my pilot, he dipped out on me. Uh-oh. Uh, he told me he couldn't make uh, the flight. Uh, nah, he might have sold out. Somebody's like, hey, yo, move over. I'm the pilot. I'm taking Johnny with me. Uh, I got a text from him. You know, Judas. Judas and um, watch out for Judas, Johnny. It says, uh, uh, hi, Jonathan. It's Kevin with Tiles Balloon Rides. I'm owner pilot. The, you, you're scheduled for Sunday morning. Morning, and unfortunately, I, and sadly, I won't be able to fly due to a sudden passing in my family. I'm boarding a plane uh-huh. now and don't expect to be back till Tuesday, maybe later. I'm terribly sorry. I, anyway, and on and on. And so, by the grace of God, literally, miraculously, another company, I got a text and I ended up with another guy, and he's going to take me on the same route, different company. And he happens to be a skydiver. <laughs> and when I talked to him, and he, I said, "Wow, I'm so glad that you know you were able to pick this up because I gotta, I gotta be heading back to San Antonio, and I have everything like banking on on being able to, you know, just I have- banking like 5:55 a.m. Uh, 17th JFK, the the bombing, the bank. Uh, uh, but this is it went up. Uh, it just wouldn't even make sense for it to happen on June twelfth. It doesn't even line up with anything. But things could happen at a point when you absolutely believe that they won't, because it was supposed to happen today or uh, June eleventh, and nothing happened. And uh, and then maybe a day later, it will. I have a lot vested in this balloon ride, and he's. But when he's talking about depositing the rocks, depositing to me is like the code is. The bank. So it's like referring to a bank. And then when you're banking on this, and, and uh, for some reason, Ben Noon's channel just flickered at 555 exactly. Um, so when you, would you feel if I wore a rig? And he goes, well, what did Kevin say? That's the other pilot. And I said, well, I haven't actually been able to talk to him because he's he's been a little evasive. And he, he he just started giggling, and I was like, "What's up?" He Uh-oh. goes, "I'm a skydiver," and he goes, "Yeah, go ahead and bring your egg." So, I don't know if the, you know it's weird. I, I don't have an LZ picked out. I have no place that I know I'm really gonna jump, which is even wilder. I mean, that's just so crazy. Just no LZ, no wind directionals, no nothing. Just a balloon. Just going over the John Dunn Bridge and the the John gorge, Dunn. and uh, it's all prophetic, guys. It's all so crazy. Anyway, so I w- I was hoping I'd have enough space left on my computer hard drive that I could do something that's very important. To pray that the Lord is coming to get us, and I pray that I pray that I never may get home to San Antonio. There's only one way that that can happen, and that would be a face plant. Why the world spits you out. All right, guys. I love you in Christ. I'm probably out of memory. I love you in Christ. God bless you. Pray for me that, you know, if the Lord tells me, even though it looks like a no-win situation, jump anyway, that I just say, screw it, I go. Okay. All right. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Okay, now let me grab a neat to be able to see it pop up side by side, which is perfect, right? Because here's Zara, seed singular. Those of you that remember, I had I played Toby a singer before where he mocked Paul for making a distinct difference between Jesus being the holy seed, and he said, as it is written, seed singular and not seeds, plural. And Tovia Singer mocked Paul, saying he must have been illiterate, not knowing Hebrew. Well, here you go, Tovia. 
not as Tovia Singer brought it out that Paul didn't know what he was talking about. Sure, Paul knew what he was talking about. It's written, Paul didn't know what he was talking about. Sure, Paul knew what he was talking about. It's written everywhere.